This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long, and now for the action. And well, I must say, this stadium falls in the must-visit category for any football fan, should the chance come his or her way. Anfield is the venue. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from Champions League match day one. It is Liverpool against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, you can sense the anticipation around the ground today. Both these teams would love to get to the knockout stages, so it's always helpful to win your first game. This is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Mohamed Salah plays with Luis Diaz out wide. And the striker of choice is Darwin Nunez. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Ashraf Hakimi plays with Nuno Mensch in the fullback positions. Vitor Ferreira starts with Fabian in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. The match is underway. And defending as a unit. Trent Alexander Arnold. And it's a quality pass. Just needs to steady himself. Liverpool struggling to keep hold of the ball. He has time to play it over. Well, it's a wild attempt. He needed something better. Offside, however. Well, you're right. He didn't know it was going to be offside, and that was a shocking miss. Fabian. Warren Zaire Emery. Vitor Ferreira. Oh, managing to beat him. Great opportunity. Oh, not to be. An opportunity wasted early in the game. Well, maybe it's come a little bit too early, Derek. But that's a wasteful finish. Credit to the defence. Promising pass. Oh, good looking run. Angled 
for Salah. And he clears the danger. Fabian. A very effective challenge put in. Fabian. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Ramos. And the decision offside here. kick awarded to Liverpool Luis Diaz still on level terms moving the ball nicely well, no problems defensively oh danger here Salah Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. So, Bosloy. Darwin Nunez. Good-looking move. As you can see, Liverpool have had all the ball in the last 15 minutes and they're playing really well and creating chances. It's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here. Now can they win back possession and carve out another chance for themselves? Not out of the woods yet! And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, he can sense the relief amongst his teammates, but what a first save that was. And he's made the run. Liverpool have the ball once more. Mo Salah. Could cross it in here. Still not clear. Well, they survived the attack. Fabian. Zaire Emery. So to dispossess your opponent might work out and he might be in here and it's good to be and the goal comes from who else but Mo Salah his side nudge in front well as you can see the weight of the through ball is key to this goal and then from there the keeper has little chance two on one left completely exposed and it made for a simple finish in the end ball moving again what sort of response will we see from them now Fabian now what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position well they win the throw following that challenge Ferreira and support available but timely defending when it mattered Nice ball over the top. And the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Oh, 
Arsenal beating his opponent with ease. Part of the final analysis, it was good defending. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Mo Salah. order good piece of closing down well inching towards half time and Liverpool with the advantage Stewart what have you made of the performance well they've worked hard and played well to be in front here but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time decent position wonderful block fine tackle there to prevent the chance he has teammates around him. Andrew Robertson. And return to Diaz. And players waiting in the centre. Real chance. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. No more time left. First half is over here at Anfield. But he often grabs the headlines and Mo Salah has been a big part of the story so far, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And the referee gets the second half going. Liverpool with the lead. Will they be able to hold on to it? And PSG using width to good effect. Our keeper getting both gloves on the ball. So Bosloy. Andrew Robertson. Luis Diaz. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Vitor Ferreira. Perfect challenge. Fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Can they hit on the break? And he's in. Big chance it is. Well, I'll tell you what, that goes down as a miscue. He'll be kicking himself, Stuart. Well, it's a poor effort, but he's been given offside, so he's got away with that one. And fine work from Liverpool to win the ball back. Magnificent agility, perfect timing, and great connection. What a goal that is. <laughs> 2 0 here, and the ball is moving again. Minch. Seemed to switch off for a moment, and now a throw-in. Salah. Good-looking move. And still they wait for the chance. He's going to be really cross with himself. Well, absolutely right. He should have done a lot better there. That was far too easy for the goalkeeper. 
attacking possibilities for PSG really important piece of last ditch defending McAllister so Bosloy good idea that is really alert defending just when the situation looked dangerous Fabian Ball lost by Liverpool. Nice weight on the pass. Salah! And not cleared away properly. Oh, it's gone in! A significant deflection, leaving the keeper flummoxed. And we can take another look at how close this was. It was marginally over the line, yes. But no doubt it was a goal. Well, the game has restarted. And Liverpool, quite frankly, running away with this one. Now, options are plenty. And a shot from some way out. And a strong tackle. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Substitution it is for PSG. And take it away, he won the ball. Could be! And four marks for the precision there. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline, so a throw-in here. Could be an opportunity here. And the flag does go up offside. Mo Salah. Salah does thrive on veering in field. how to do it inside your own penalty area can he find the right pass trying to up and up the defence well he had just gone beyond the last defender Stuart well that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted but he just took too long to play it Toro Muani Possession lost by Liverpool. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, I think it's fair to say the pressure from the defender put him off a bit. Disappointing for Liverpool to give it away like that. Ten minutes left for play. Liverpool free kick coming up. Understandably, he wanted to give it a go, but straight at the keeper. To finding the net. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Endo. 
Nunez. Chance for Liverpool to use width to good effect. Salah. Tremendous block. It's been whipped towards the near post. Danger averted. Fabian. And PSG giving it away. An attack full of promise. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. a short one Robertson with the try well, trying to place that one didn't get it quite right though Hakimi Fabian in there and they got into that crossing position but dealt with defensively oh he really bruised the crossbar there goes the full time whistle and Liverpool fans won't mind this at all Liverpool with three points from their first game of this Champions League campaign yeah that's a good win and a vital three points another win next time out and they'll be in a great position So positivity envelops Mo Salah, not for the first time either. Your verdict? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.